Hey, it's Rick and Lisa and Mr. Nurker. Oh, goodness. Time for another video. Yeah. So we were talking with Jonathan. It was his birthday and we were recounting birthdays past and it had been a reminder that that's where you lost your wallet on his birthday. Oh, yes. Remember that? Uh, we'll start with a precursor to this. If you have any kind of clothing or a, a purse or a backpack that has the tendency for things to drop out, get rid of it right away. Don't do it again. I had a couple of pairs of shorts that when, you know, we'd sit down, the wallet would drop out. My wallet's gone. We went to see a movie uh, at, the, at the Valley Mall. And uh, during the first half of the movie, I reached down, didn't feel my wallet in the back pocket. Oh, I must have fallen out on the, on the mother floor. Uh, must have fallen out when I went to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom, wasn't there. Now I'm starting to panic. So I go up to the uh, the people at the front uh, there where they sell the popcorn and the sodas. I said, "Somebody turn in a wallet." Nobody's turned in a wallet. I was just I I, I was freaking out. I didn't. I mean, it, the worst thing about I mean, it's bad when you lose a wallet if you right. lose money or a credit card. But those things are easy to replace. You know, you have different little cards for this or an ID for that. Or, so mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm freaking out. Finally, this 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 gentleman comes in from the parking lot and he said, "Is this yours?" He recognized you from your driver's license picture. How about that? One of the first people to ever yeah. be recognized by their driver's license picture. My friend, um, the other day, she was yard sailing, and as she's leaving, she found a clutch wallet with a phone in it. Okay. And so we were taking a class together, and she came in, she goes, I found somebody's wallet and phone. And so we're going through trying to find out who it belongs to. Mm -hmm. There was no driver's license in there, okay. but there was a card in there for a massage therapist. So she called the massage therapist really? who in turn called the person. And then the person called my friend and communication. It's amazing. Um, it's yada, yada, century. yada. She came and got it. It was a lucky, lucky thing. And, um, so well, you got, and I were, you know, we do walks around town quite frequently yeah. and we found uh, a set of keys and, uh, an ID and we right. walked it over to the police station. Yeah. Well, that's what she was going to do, but she kind of, that's probably the best thing to do, by the way, if you have, find something, take it to the police station, you know, at worst case scenario, somebody could accuse you of stealing the wall. Yeah. Well, she offered to give her 20 bucks, but my friend didn't take her. Has anybody ever taken the reward? I, I, <laughs> you know, and if somebody does, I, I, I just, can't I was imagine. happy. I lost my, you know, I'm always losing my debit card mm -hmm. and I lost it at BB's involved place. I even brought something in so I wouldn't lose it, but I ended up losing it. But somebody turned it in and I was like, yay! I was, you know, there's nothing like that elation of finding your keys, your wallet, your yep. phone when you thought it was gone forever That's and all. Oh. So tell us in well, the comments. One more, oh, one more okay. comment. We were on our way to a thousand steps up near Huntington. Yeah. And uh, stopped. Oh, we should do that again. We, we should. We really yeah. should. But we stopped by a convenience store to use the bathroom. And uh, uh, 20 miles up the road, I realized my wallet was missing. So we turned around, went back, and it, there it was laying on the floor of the stall. You were lucky. Learn from my mistakes and come back again. We'll yeah. see you. Tell us your lost and found story in the comments. We want to hear from you. Uh, don't get lost. We want to see you again. Same bat time, same bat channel.